In this video I'm going to show you a little trick you can use that will enable you to repair transformers on occasion. It's not always possible, but in this case it looks like we're probably going to be in luck. A gentleman just brought in this controller here for a, a I believe it's a stove, and he said he didn't want to have to buy the whole board because it was going to cost him, I think it was two or three hundred dollars, so he wanted to know if there's anything I could do to repair it. Well, I'm not an expert on controller boards, but as you can see, a lot of these components, most of you are familiar with, that are easy to check, the diodes, the relays, the capacitors, and also the uh, transformer. Now, because I've seen transformers fail a lot on different appliances, I thought I better check this out first of all. So, I determined where my two inputs were, looking over the PC board, and it looks like the two inputs here are these terminals right here. We've got E1 and E2, and one of the inputs goes through this little fuse right here. This little black thing is a fuse, believe it or not. So looking over the transformer, it was easy to determine where the primary and secondary was, and when I took my ohmmeter and put it across the primary, I determined that it was an open circuit. Well, unfortunately, when a winding burns out, sometimes that can be a real hassle because it could be deep within the transformer, so you're not going to find it. But a lot of times the manufacturers bury a little fuse inside these transformers. And sometimes it's just a matter of tearing apart some of the plastic uh, covering the wire, like I did here. So after I unsoldered this thing, I started tearing apart the plastic here. And what do I find? But a fuse. Now it doesn't look like a fuse, but there's a fuse right there. It might have some more plastic around it. I'm going to see if I can further unwrap it and determine its value. But I've, I've seen this a lot of times, and you can't always assume it's going to be on the top of the transformer. Sometimes it can be on the back side. You'll find a nice little fuse there. Oftentimes it'll have the numbers on it, tell you exactly what it is. But even if you don't know the exact value of the fuse, you can sometimes guesstimate it just by knowing what it does and having a general idea you know how much current is going to go through it so I'm going to I'm going to tear this open further here and uh, if I can get this going for the guy he's going to be a happy camper because well we're looking at like I said uh, two to three hundred dollars for this controller module here anyway I just thought I'd make a quick video about that hope you find the information helpful and if you like it please give me a thumbs up